Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I will explain a research journal article written by Tommy Klasetio, Zulfikar Ali, Poncho Birowo, and Nur Rashid with a journal entitled Correlation Between Fasting Glucose, er Erectile Dysfunction, and Lower Urinary Tract Symptoms in the Ninth prostate hyperplasia patients with fall four number three published in december 2016 which i took from www.nality.com first i will describe the research background background Life expectancy increases in developing countries, leading to an increase in the number of age-related diseases in the geriatric population. One of the related diseases that redu reduce the quality of the patient life is benign prostatic hyperplasia (BPH). This accompanied by symptoms known as urinary lower urinary tract symptoms (LUTS), prostate enlargement not only causes do discomfort urinary problems but it also forms a vicious circle quality of life due to anxiety mental stress and interpersonal problems associated with LUTS and erections dysfunction ED. This study is aimed to determine the correlation between fasting glucose level, erectile dysfunction, and lower urinary tract symptoms LUTS and in patients diagnosed with benign prosthetic hyperplasia BPH. Methods A total of 42 patients aged over 50 years old who were admitted to outpatient clinic in Kandina Hospital, Tegal, due to BPH-related LUTS were enrolled in this study from January until March 2015. The inclusion criteria were mean men aged 15 50 years or above with LUTS due to BPH. We excluded patients with a history of treatment for LUTS and or ED, genital, genital defect, psychologic issues, history of major surgical intervention in pelvic region, and non-BPH LUTS. Written consent was obtained from all participants and the study protocol was approved by Ethics Committee of Cardina Hospital, Tegal. All patients who fulfilled the inclusion and exclusion criteria were included in the study, body height, weight, blood pressure, and fasting blood glucose, level of all the participants were measured and recorded. LUTS and AED were evaluated with International Prostate Symptom Score (IPSS) and International Index of Erectile Function 5 (IIEF 5). Statistical analysis was performed using IBM SPSS version 22 software, Pearson and Spearman correlation coefficients were used to analyze the correlation between fasting glucose level, IPSS, and IE, IIEF5. Statistical significance was state SP is less than 0.05. Demographic and characteristics of the participants. Half of the participants were suffered from hypertension. Most patients were suffered from severe LUTS 
81% followed by moderate LUTS 19% with the mean of IPSS was 24 more or less 6.1 ED was observed in 83.3% with the mean IIEF 5 score was 14 point uh, H more or less 6.7 diabetes mellitus was observed in 26.2% of the participants with the mean fasting glucose level was 108.3 more or less 21.1 mgdl Correlation between LUTS, ED, fasting glucose, level, and age. Pay attention to the table. These conditions showed that the higher fasting glucose level of a man aged 50 years or above with BPH, the more severe his LUTS would be. As his LUTS became more severe, his IIEF5 score became lower or in other words, his ED became worse. IIEF5 score showed significant negative correlation with age R equals minus 0.31, P equals 0.046, and fasting glucose level R equals minus 0.305 P equals 0.049 This condition showed that with increasing age and fasting blood glucose of a BPH man above 50 years old ED worsens Conclusions Increasing fasting glucose level in a man diagnosed with BPH in age older than 50 Tommy Prasetyo et al. 186 EJKL years would increase his LUTS and ED severity increasing age and severity of LUTS in a man older than 50 years with BPH will increase the severity of ED. That's the presentation I can deliver. Hopefully, it's useful. Um, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.